Thanks to South City Source giving you all of the news about every single course, whether it's sports or something that's important. Over there, sort in paper by paper so all of us will know what's going on now or later. Announcements and segments, you know we make them cool. The Source gives the precious buzz from around the school. Keeping up to date with the school related news. Leaving you entertained it's is what we love to do. do. Good morning, South San Francisco High School. I am Miss Nichols, and I'm kicking off your daily announcements for Friday, November 22nd, 2013. So usually you guys are used to hearing from me via other students reading my written announcements, so I thought you'd get a little treat today with a live version of Miss Nichols' announcements. So we've, you know, we're, we're coming to the end of the first semester, and I think it's a good time to address a few behavior reminders here on campus. So one is just our general respect for all adults here at South San Francisco High School. I know that you are all wonderful young citizens here at South San Francisco High School. And I want to see you displaying that every day. We have 1,500 students on this campus and it's really, really important um, that we have rules and policies in place to keep order on this campus with the main purpose being school safety. That is why the rules and policies exist. I know in some cases they may seem ridiculous or don't make sense to you, but you have to trust us that they're put in place for your safety. So it is our expectation that at all times you follow the directions of every single adult here on campus, whether they are actually your teacher or not. Uh, if anything other than that occurs, if you don't follow the directions of any adult here on campus, that's campus supervisors, that's teachers, that's administrators, that's office staff, that's any person on this campus, any adult on this campus, if you don't follow their instructions, uh, consequences as severe as suspension could result. So I ask that you continue to be the wonderful citizens that you are and, and show that, that respect. Uh, recently, we have been having some issues with the fire alarms being pulled. I want to remind you that that not only is a violation of school rules, but it is also a crime with the consequence of being arrested by South San Francisco police. Uh, we are gonna continue to work to um, catch those who are pulling fire alarms. It is my expectation that from this point moving forward, the whole issue just stops altogether. Uh, however, just know that consequences include suspension, possible expulsion, as well as being arrested by South San Francisco police. Pulling the fire alarm is a very serious offense. Should it continue, uh, school-wide results could also be in effect, including an extension of the school day. So let's just put an end to that. Um, there have been some rumors in the last couple days about a possible walkout. Um, and while I expect that everyone at this school puts their education first, um, I expect that all students will be in class today for the entirety of the school day. Uh, should anyone choose to leave class or leave this campus without permission, consequences will absolutely result. Those consequences will include Saturday school, possible suspension, and South San Francisco police are in full force out on the streets. If you are not in school during the school day, you can be arrested for truancy. So think about those consequences, think about your education, think about that we're a month away from the end of the semester and it is your future that you are here for. Being in class is the right place for you to be today. And just a general reminder, again, detentions in Saturday schools. Uh, seniors and juniors especially, junior prom, senior ball, graduation are right around the corner. I'm gonna guess that prom bids go on sale in February. That is right around the corner. If you have overdue detentions and Saturday schools, you absolutely cannot purchase bids and you know that no deals will be made. So, and you know from last year that I have no patience, there are no tears allowed in my office over overdue detentions. So get those things served now, get it taken care of. And if you don't like detentions in Saturday schools, do not earn them in the first place. That means follow school rules, guys. It's really simple. All right, South City, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I believe we are coming up on a segment regarding the firefighters, volunteer, uh, and canned food drive coming up. And here we go, a segment. 
During the holiday season, the fire department in cooperation with local schools, businesses, and service organizations collects and distributes food for socioeconomically disadvantaged families. The fire department is asking for students of South City High School to help with filling bags with food and helping distribute the food. On Wednesday, November 27th, a school holiday, there will be two volunteer shifts where students are needed to help out. The first is from 8 to 12 and the second is from 12 to 4. Again, your job will be to help fill bags with food for the disadvantaged families. This is an amazing opportunity to help the community, represent South City High, and earn community service credit. This volunteer opportunity will be held at South City's main fire department, located at 480 North Canal Street. Please see Mr. Boyd in room M2. Remember South City, if you want to sign up for the canned food drive, make sure to contact Mr. Boyd. I'm Carolina. And I'm Casey. To all electronics clubs, remember we will have an after school club lab today from 310 to 415 p.m. in room S1. Hey seniors, the pre-order forms you received in your English class for your senior sweats sweatshirts along with the money is due Tuesday, November 26th at B8. If you did not get a form, you can come to B8 to get a form. Make sure to buy your senior sweaters. Students, Tuesday, November 26th will be the last day to buy your yearbooks for $60. Prices will jump up to $80. Please turn in your order forms to S6 or the main office. You can also buy your yearbooks online. The link is on school. Attention all, all returning swimmers. Kayla will be here on Friday, November 22nd in D24 during lunch to talk about the upcoming season. Hope to see you there. Old clothes piling up in your closet, old blankets just laying around in your house. Put them to good use by donating them to people who need it most. Mission Me will be collecting any donations here at school December 2nd through the 13th. We will have an Italian club meeting in F7 at lunch on Monday, November 25th. See you there. Seniors, if you did not order your cap and gown, you still can. Go online to justins.com or call 650-350-1132 and place your order to mail in your orders to Justins 171 Branham, San Jose. <laughs> order packets are in the main office. Prices go up from $33 to $53 after November 29th. To all photo club members, we are meeting Tuesday, November 26th in D26 at lunch. Please be on time. And on time for a segment. Segment. meet Tuesday, November 26th at lunch in D25. All students are welcome to attend. Be green, keep the planet clean. There is a math club meeting during lunch Tuesday, today, Friday, November 22nd in Ms. Chan's room, A6. The, the Latin Catholic Christian Club meets today, Friday, during lunch in Ms. Silicani's room. All are welcome. Rad, redeemed and delivered. The Christian Club meets today, Friday at lunch, at lunch in A5. All are welcome. Hey Warriors, Can Food Drive is under the way until November 26th. Donate your cans to people in need. Food cannot be perishable and must not contain glass or plastic. Bring your cans to your third period class, the third period classes that donate the most or have the highest can student ration, ratio will get a pizza party. Electronic policy reminder. Just all reminder, all electronic devices must be turned off and put away for the entire school day. If you are seen with an electronic device on, and this means just checking the time, the device will be confiscated. If you are seen with earbuds in your ears, both the earbuds and electronic device will be confiscated. Earbuds should be put away and put out of sight, not hanging out of your sweatshirt, sweatshirts. Should this be your first confiscation, the item will be returned to only the parent 
or guardian. If you know your parent or guardian works late and is unable to retrieve the items, do not violate the school rules. No expectations will be made. Just a reminder, if you do not like the confiscation policy, do not violate the school rules. Super simple. Reminder, every Friday is intramural soccer on the field in front of the girls' gym at lunch. Come and sign up and get your game on. Open to all. Come down to the mat room in the open in the gym and work out open every day this week. All are welcome. And now time for the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. By the way, South City, Monday and Tuesday are your last days to purchase your yearbook for $60. Prices will go up after Thanksgiving. And for you seniors, make sure to buy a yearbook because it will carry long-lasting memories. Stop by S6 for any further questions. Bye, South City. Bye, yearbook. <laughs> Thank the South City Source, giving you all of the news about every single course, whether it's sports or something that's important. Over there, sort in paper by paper, so all of us will know what's going on now or later. Announcements and segments, you know we make them cool. The Source gives the freshest buzz from around the school. Keeping up to date with the school-related news. Leaving you entertained is what we love to do. Good morning, South City, and these are your daily announcements for Monday, November 25th, 2013. I'm Katie. And I'm Isabel. Hey, seniors. The pre-order form you received in your English class for your senior sweatshirts, along with the money, is due Tuesday, November 26th. Get a form. Make sure you buy your senior sweat. Students, Tuesday, November 26th will be the last day to buy your yearbooks for $60. Prices will jump up to $80. Please turn in your order forms to S6 or the main office. You can also buy your yearbooks online. The link is on Schoolu. Amnesty International will meet Wednesday at lunch in room D25. Anyone auditioning for the spring musical should pick up the audition songs in M2. To all photo club members that are going on the Exploratorium Fisherman's Wharf field trip, you need to come by D26 at lunch or after school to pick up paperwork to fill out for the field trip. Senior CSF meeting Monday at lunch in A5. Mission Me would like to thank all of the students that donated to the Typhoon High End Relief Fund. We are able to collect over $100. This money will go a long way and it is greatly appreciated. Old clothes piling up in your closet, old blankets just lying around in your house, put them to good use by donating them to people who need it most. Mission Me will be collecting any donations here at school December 2nd through the 13th. And now it's time for a segment. Yay, segment. Segment. <laughs> Friday, November 22nd, progress report. Friday, January 10th, report cards. Friday, February 18th, progress reports. Friday, March 21st, progress reports. June 6th, report cards. Look out for progress and report cards. We have an Italian club meeting in F7 at lunch on Monday, November 25th. See you there. Seniors, if you did not order a cap and gown, you still can. Go online to jostens.com or call 650-350-1132 and place your order to mail in your orders to Jostens 
171 Branham Lane, number 10, 532 San Jose, California, 95136. Order packets are in the main office. Prices go up from $33 to $53 after November 29th. Earth Club will meet Tuesday, November 26th at lunch in D25. All students are welcome to attend. Be green, keep our planet clean. Hey Warriors, Canned Food Drive is underway until no Tuesday, November 26th. Donate your cans to people who need food. Cannot Food cannot be perishable and must not contain glass or plastic. Bring your cans to your third period class. The third period classes that donate the most cans or have the highest can to student ratio will get a pizza party. Electronics policy reminder. Just a reminder, all electronic devices must be powered off and put away for the entire school day. If you are seen with an electronic device on, and this means just checking the time, the device will be confiscated. If you are seen with earbuds in your ears, both the earbuds and electronic device will be confiscated. Earbuds should be put away and out of sight, not hanging out of your sweatshirt. Should this be your, I your first confiscation, the item will be returned to only a parent or a guardian. If you know your parent or guardian works late and is unable to retrieve the item, do not violate the school rule. No exceptions will be made. Should a second event of electronics use occur, the item will be confiscated until the last week of school. Just a reminder, if you do not like the confiscation policy, do not violate the school rules. Super simple. Reminder, every Friday is intramural soccer on the field in front of the girls' gym at lunch. Come and sign up and get your game on. Open to all. Come on down to the mat room in the gym and work out open every day this week. All are welcome. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bye, South City. Have a great day.